hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another fsr 3.1 video with uh, god of war ragnarok on the horizon releasing on september 19th uh, some people are still finishing up on god of war 4 slash the first part of the god of war so yeah i thought uh, let's give a new upscaler update to this game so the god of war pc right now supports only dlss and the fsr uh, 2 upscaler this game only supports uh, dlss and the fsr 2 and fsr 2 is uh, pretty bad in this game like uh, if you can uh, right now it is running on fsr 2 and if you look closely at the what do you say uh, what's his name i forgot kratos head and shoulder uh, you can see a little bit uh, ghosting there uh, along with some jagged edges and some anti-aliased uh, things on texture here and there so yeah fsr 3.1 uh, doesn't have this much issue it's uh, good but yeah uh, the fsr uh, some people have already tried the fsr 3.1 mod and uh, have faced crashing issue so yeah but uh, thanks to one of my discord member uh, he is the member who helped me to make the mod work i was also facing the same issue so yeah let's begin this modding video without any delay all right so first of all we will be needing this optiscaler 0.66 final this is the latest version of the optiscaler you can find this link in the description or on my discord channel so we're going to extract it to the desktop then we're gonna go to the installation directory of god of war which is here for me so now after extracting we're going to just uh, paste all these files from the zip to the installation folder where gow.exe is located now after pasting uh, we will need to edit one thing which is this nvgx.ini so you will need to open it with notepad or notepad plus plus so i'm opening with notepad plus plus so it might seem a little bit different but uh, all the text and all the contents are the same so don't need to scroll down or anywhere just you can find the upscalers at the top of this text file so the game god of war runs on directx 11 upscaler so you need to change this directx 11 upscaler from auto to d3d where it is uh, the fsr 3112 this option uh, so right now this is an auto uh, if the game is supposed to run on directx 12 then you need to change the directx 12 if the game runs on vulkan then you need to change the vulkan but the code of war runs on directx 11 so i'm going to change this directx 11 option so i'm going to delete this auto and copy this fsr 31 means 3.1 and the dash 12 means directx 12 and we're going to paste it here now we're going to just click on file and save then we're going to close this text and run the game and i will talk and show a few things about how you can switch images and uh, and uh, more thing like uh, which is the better upscaler and everything so yeah let's dive into the game now star wars outlaws offline activation is starting at just 400 indian rupees along with all the new and old games and windows 10 and 11 serial key the stock is limited so hurry all right so we are back in the game and if you have pasted the mod and done everything successfully you now should be able to see that uh, the dlss have come online even on uh, gtx and amd gpus not only the rtx gpus so we're going to change this dlss to quality or whichever preference you like now you can switch uh, even more to the ultra quality because this is not the real dlss this is the fsr uh, taking effect uh, so yeah that's why the ultra quality is there because dlss don't have an ultra quality option so yeah uh, let's just set it to the quality right now and get back to the game and now if you press the insert button on your keyboard uh, you will able to see this kind of ui on your screen and in here you can see many kinds of things so you don't need to focus on anything just focus on this upscaler text uh, like uh, top left corner of this uh, ui so you need to select 
on this arrow button and you can see some kind of uh, all kinds of uh, upscaler here so now it says fsr 3.1 so yeah uh, previously it was fsr 2.2 like if i apply it and if you look closely again at the kratos uh, shoulder and uh, head you can see there it's the ghosting again but as soon as i press insert and switch to fsr 3.1 and apply uh, you will be able to see wait a second let me hide this ui you can see now that the ghosting is almost gone it's a very little bit there but yeah you know if the 3.1 is still not very perfect it's still like what do you say and uh, in between stable and beta stage like it is still flickers and uh, anti a little bit like jagged little bit <clears throat> but yeah uh, you can still use the xcss that is a better option than if 3.1 and is supported on all gpus so as soon as i switch to xcss you can see that the ghosting is almost uh, like even more reduced the jagged edges and anti-aliasing is even more reduced so yeah xcss is a better option also but yeah some people prefer fsr 3.1 as it is uh, latest technology and uh, you know some amd fans uh, like to use the fsr 3.1 so yeah the options are there up to you which one you will use and if you are an rtx user you can just uh, press insert and just switch to the dlss that is like the superior to everything better image quality better fps uh, yeah fps is also better with dlss like uh, on uh, fsr 3.1 uh, you can see right now it's on uh, dlss like you can see that the fps right here it's around uh, 64 65 yeah now if i switch to fsr 3.1 i think it will dip a little bit all right i have changed now yeah you can see it has dipped little bit to 50 51 yeah it's uh, like 10 to 15 fps drop yeah my settings are right now on ultra quality so that's why it's a little bit heavier but if i switch to maybe the high it will get a little bit better yeah 80 yeah, 75 80 yes that's a little bit better uh, but yeah fsr 3.1 is good it's still jagged edges so i recommend using xcss on non-rtx gpus like it is better than fsr 3.1 but yeah if you still insist on fsr 3.1 you are more than welcome to try and for rtx gpus just stick to dlss that is the superior to everything you see dlss the fps is around 100 but with fsr 3.1 it was around only uh, 70 so yeah it's a very much uh, what do you say uh, advantage in both ways like more better image and more uh, fps so yeah this will be it for this video now if this helps you uh, you can subscribe to the channel and uh, if you face any kind of issue comment down below don't forget to join the discord and god of war ragnarok is coming soon the pre-book will be also be available so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers